Hello everyone, Christopher here. Um, just back from Games Day 2012 at the NEC. Um, absolutely awesome day. Uh, went along with the Games Workshop Belfast crew, um, which made the 16 hour bus ride that much more bearable. Um, the whole day, absolutely awesome, though it does mean I'm a little bit sleep deprived and slightly buzzed at the moment. Um, the highlights of the day, um, I picked up this thing. This is awesome. Uh, I've only read like the first couple pages and obviously scanned through to the Angron rules. Um, uh, bring out rules for Primarchs, great. Um, of course, picked up one. And pilot day, picked up a Chaos Warhound Titan. And uh, that's really the purpose of this video. Uh, I'm going to do, in the essence of uh, Hugo from Mishiban painting, uh, I'm going to do a build from beginning to end. Um, first, the uh, setup of checking out all the pieces, cleaning up the flash, uh, washing off all the pieces, and then the paint job, always from beginning to end. Um, see you guys in a minute. Working on the Titan from the bottom up, start off with the foot section, using the guide that came with the, the Titan. Um, let's just see what bits that came with it, and make sure they're all here. The next section is the lower leg, um, as shown in here. Um, I've included a couple of bits from the first section, the, uh, the sole of the foot, the ankle joint, and just to show how they connect, I've moved the leg, one of the legs into the correct position so that four of these would connect to here. Um, we have these section which connect, uh, push together and go under here. Um, this sort of thigh joint goes behind here and this connects to the ball joint which goes into um, the center of the model. Uh, there's all the bits seem to be here um, but uh, just to highlight and I, again I don't know if this is going to come out in the video um, these are so well detailed. Um, this is the shin guard and the lower leg guard The final section is the upper torso. Uh, this is where the weapon mounts and where the pilot's cabin and uh, rear section in the Imperial Titan where the um, tech priest lives. Um, in this case, the Chaos Titan, the tech priest, not terribly happy. It looks kind of, well, it sort of looks alive. Um, well, as alive as um, Chaos tech priest can be. Um, it's unfortunate Chum, who's on the other side, seems to have had a less fortunate time of it. Um, you can see how these um, right guards where the void shield generators are we'll just slot in. I have a feeling I'm probably going to paint these separately uh, and then assemble them together. Um, a venting section for the rear. The upper armor, um, which slots over. And a um, magnetize this to make it easier to assemble and stick together. A venting section which gives them the inside and the underside of that. The two tech priests which slot into the side tip, or the servitors even. Um, this one looks kind of better than the, the other one who seems to, over the millennia, has dissolved into just a lump of goo probably brain matter or something. It's whatever, he doesn't look terribly happy to about the about the situation as if a lump of goo can have an opinion. Um, the central hip joint and the crotch guard, the pilot cabin. Um, when I originally was uh, thinking of buying this model, I was thinking of replacing this guy in here with a um, Chaos Sorcerer because I was um, thinking of making this a Zinch Titan. But just looking at the detail and how awesome this model is, I may just leave it as it is. And 
the head guard. Uh, there's a lot of flash on this. For the washing up stage, I'm just using a household washing up liquid, toothbrush, um, a bathtub full of lukewarm water, and a cutlery tray sink to the bottom to catch the small pieces. Hello there, one month since game today. The model has been cleaned and prepped and we're ready to move on to the next stage. As you should be able to see at the moment, I have dry fitted the foot section over an Elder Falcon draft tank to give you an idea of what I'm imagining the base will look like. Please leave your comments below of what you think. Please like this video and you can subscribe up above. My Twitter channel is exactly the same name as my YouTube channel, so I'll be putting semi-regular updates on the progress on the Titan there. And hopefully I'll be doing another one of these videos fairly soon. And catch you next time.